show you how to do the Pilates one dash row wrong. Are you ready? Great. Then he's going to lie down and show you, show you how to do that before I start explaining um, the core muscles that we're working on. Great job, Brandy. That was a fantastic demonstration of the whole exercise. So let's talk through the, the setup first. Um, Brandy has her arms by the side of the shoulders and her elbows is flexed facing backwards. Her head is hovering on just above the mat and the neck um, and the head is lifting, lengthening and is straight um, uh, reaching forward. Her scapula, her shoulder blades are in the neutral. Spine and the pelvis is in neutral as well. Legs are long, slightly rot uh, rotated upwards and her toes are gently pointing backwards. So on the inhale, Renee is going to extend the spine up and you can see her head is reaching upwards to the ceiling and the spine is on extension. How high the spine should be lifted up is depending on flexibility, so the recommended is up to the hip, the pubic bone of the hip joint. So, and you can see this beautiful um, arch, arch uh, position of Renee. So Renee is actually using a lot of the glutes muscle and the hamstring to hold this position of course with the back extensors, uh, back extensors as well. So this exercise is actually a back uh, spinal extension exercise, strengthening the back. So this is very good for people who have a uh, poor back um, posture. So on the exhale, what Renee is going to do, she's going to lower her torso down, slowly walking down and lifting her right leg up. Great job. And there she's still maintaining her nice bow shape. On the inhale, she's going to lift the spine up again. And on the exhale, similarly on the left leg, she's going to reach back and upwards. Again, maintaining a nice low shape of hers. And this time, on the inhale, and the exhale, she's going to lower herself down and put both legs up. Inhale again, she's going to go to the spine extension and lower down to complete the exercise. Great job, Brittany. So, this is the perfect way of doing the spine, the swan dive uh, slow rock. But what we're going to do now is to show you the negative um, points of the exercise. Renee, can you show us some of the points that we should not be avoiding? Elevating of the shoulders and sinking into the back. This is the two points that you, we should be avoiding. Very good, Renee. And the other point that we'd like to show is this is a, using a lot of abs, not with the hands to push up. Renee, can you show us how it's being done? Great, so you can see the back is working big time to maintain the position and also the F. And if you lift her hands up, she can still do this exercise beautifully. Very good, really. Thank you very much. And if you have any further questions or have wish to have more information, please visit us at lastin.com.sg. Thank you, Renee.